You're listening to the Loudmouth Radio Network. Hey, I'm going to enjoy this tip. We are on our series of 25 motivational tips to supercharge of 2024. And, you know, I'm keeping this momentum going. Last week we talked about taking note of your accomplishments. And this week we are on a new segment, on a new high. And it is our 10th tip of the 25 tips. And I'm going to give you this with so much real conviction because it's so important that we remember that it is okay to take the time to intentionally fall in love with yourself. And if you've done this before intentionally, I'm going to say do it again and again and again. But if this is a first time moment of having this kind of space with yourself, what does that look like? What does that sound like? What does it feel like? Well, only you will be able to know fully as you engage it. But to do it with the level of intention of some of the things that I want to talk about, hopefully we will gain something magical from it because it's just one of those things that we can love on so many others. We can acknowledge others in our in our, in our own different levels of love language. But how many times do we actually take the time to love on ourselves? And what does that look like? So for many of us, we will be able to reflect on some of these things and have your own acknowledgement of how you've maybe done this in the past or present. And for those of us who may be feeling like this is something new and feeling some level of comfortability of acknowledging the fact that it's even possible to do something like that, well, this conversation is going to be for you. And I look forward to uh, just touching on these and in, 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 in giving uh, some some real good uh, feeling in regards to how a small principle like this can be so empowering. So, guys, you know what time it is. It's Monday, and it's time for Sunday's Money Motivation. Let's go. Welcome to Loudmouth Radio Network. My name is Sunny. As a former professional athlete turned entrepreneur realtor and the producer of Loudmouth Radio Network, I look forward to bringing content to you that empowers, inspires, and entertains you. Tune in each week as we have unscripted and unfiltered talks from entrepreneurship, real estate, politics, entertainment, comedy, LGBTQ topics, day-to-day life, and everything in between. All shows available on demand 24-7 on your favorite podcast platforms. Diamond Valley Lodge, the one-of-a-kind, unique, exotic dining experience for the whole family. Have dinner with real tigers at Diamond Valley Lodge's 100% safe, unique dinner party experience. Ever dine just feet away from a majestic Bengal tiger? Now you can. A magical evening under the stars with open-air seating in an exotic zen garden. Just feet away from some of the most majestic creatures on the planet are crown jewels of nature. Dinners are served on Friday and Saturday, brunch on Sunday. Reservation only by calling 855-9-TIGERS or 951-390-2670 or visit diamondvalleylodge.com. Santa Cena to Mecla Valley areas and throughout the Inland Empire. Are you looking to become a homeowner in 2024? Register today for the new home in the New Year's seminar hosted by Soul by Sunny. Let's get you from rental to homeowner in the new year. Get the latest insight of down payment assistance programs, whether you purchase a home before or purchasing for the first time. We want to make sure you're provided with the necessary information needed for you to buy your new home in 2024. Look forward to seeing you there. Hi, I'm Hector Calvillo of Jane H. Automotive, located at 611 West Florida Avenue in Hemet, California. We are a full-service automotive repair shop where you can always expect to receive the highest quality repairs, fairest pricing, best customer service in the industry. My brother George and I grew up watching our dad work on classic cars as a backyard mechanic. His hard work ethic and dedication led us to opening up Jane H automotive in 2009. We started out with a 500 square foot repair shop and we have consistently grown over the past 15 years to our new 10,000 square foot repair facility in the heart of Hemet. We're open Monday through Friday 8 to 5 
call 951-766-5999 to set an appointment for all your automotive service needs. Okay, so I've made a real effort to to give talking points that can reference the the statement of falling in love with yourself as best I could in the sense of just keeping it as as simplistic as possible, but with real genuine uh, intention to hopefully make it make sense to where you can feel yourself taking part in this kind of activity because it is an, it's an activity because it's something that you're doing without the work of anyone else and it's not for you to get approval from anyone else it is not for you to prove to anyone else that you do or you don't it's just simplistically being present and intentional about you in the way in which it will serve you for so many reasons. So falling in love with yourself is something that I feel is constant, different, different levels of processes. And what I mean by that one part that I'm going to give you first is taking a note of what you love about you. It's so easy. If somebody asks you about somebody that you have um, favorable relation or interaction with, you're able to rattle off things that you, you might You know, what is it that draws them to you? What makes them magnetic to you? What makes them feel good about being connected to them? Well, what are those things or those qualities that you possess? And what is it that you know about yourself that you find uh, that makes you feel warm and fuzzy? You know, and it doesn't have to have a sensibility that will correlate to anybody else's approval. But it is something that you want to, to, to take time to think about. And this may not be a one sitting. It may not be a, 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 a journal entry for the day. It could be a process over time because maybe there's things about you that you're still discovering that you you kind of do or you are, but you really didn't take note of it as a thing that is something that you really love about yourself. And doing that allows you to kind of get lost. I, I think it's important to kind of get lost in your own wonder. And if you want to daydream or uh, just, you know, be, you know, I I think one of the things that people like to do, especially when they go on vacations and stuff like that, is maybe sometimes get near water. Water has a natural uh, ability to give us a calmness and and, and it's easy to kind of drift off into space, as they say. So, um, you know, this is something you could do in the shower It's something that you can do intentionally near water, whether it's a pond, lake, ocean. Uh, you know, a, a, a waterfall, maybe you have a, a, a little uh, rock formation uh, thing on your desk that you let the water trickle on the little uh, waterfall, like the little portable waterfalls that sits on your desk. But, you know, something about water kind of allows that connection to come come very easily and systematically. And uh, one of the other things you can do is also, you know, take a mirror. And I know people have probably heard this. Look at yourself. Give give yourself 10 minutes of silence and reflection and look at yourself and uh because when be what you love about yourself is not about just a physical it could be a trait it could be a quality it could be um maybe a certain thing that you do a habit that you have it, it has so many vast aspects and all of those things count so it does not mean that it needs to be something that's based upon you being something or someone to someone else this is a hundred percent about you right so uh, to, to take 10 minutes and sit in self-reflection and looking at yourself, you'll probably find certain things in your face that you probably haven't paid enough attention to. <laughs> you know, you might twitch. You might have a glistening in your eye that happens after so many. I remember as a kid, uh, we had this, we would play these different games. And I remember we used to do this staring game. And we used to have to sit across each other and, The game was we would go stare at each other until the next. So whoever could stare the longest without laughing, cracking or breaking the stare wins. Right. And it's incredible. I don't know. It's been a long time since I did something like that. But, you know, doing it with yourself. And you might say 10 minutes. 
We'll see if you can even sit still long enough to sit and focus on yourself. So being able to do that is huge. The other thing I think would be a wonderful attribute for you to do is to write a letter to you and what you like about you. So, you know, the first thing we said, take note of it mentally, you know, you know, just understanding what it is that you're that you find loving about yourself. But then on this exercise, write a letter to you and what you like about you. Mm, that's interesting, right? And it doesn't have to have a certain length, time, period, past, present. It, it, it's just whatever you feel uh, within you to write. And then from that, write back why you deserve love. I don't mean necessarily from anyone in particular, but write why you deserve love. And I'm going to tell you something, guys. I, I think this is going to be profound. Um because in doing this, it gives you such a level of aptitude about yourself that you may not even remotely on the molecular level, on the physical level, understand um, what is going on within you. Because these are, it's a process of thoughts and feelings and emotions and um, all of those things correlating together for you to be able to summarize the thought of you to be able to write the thought of you, to be able to look at the realm of you. And it requires, uh, you know, focus. It requires uninterrupted, undistracted, intentional tapping in. And um, I don't know if it makes it, um, if it, if it makes you feel as if you're, taking a moment to remember certain aspects of yourself, but it definitely allows you to acknowledge certain aspects of yourself. And I think that it will play a part that is so important to how you allow yourself to be treated, talked to and and interacted with when it comes to other people. And I think it's a good way to lock back into your value system and to give yourself an opportunity to know that you're so much greater than what the physical world may be engaging with you at. And it serves such a purpose that even as I speak on this, I don't even know if I'm really reaching to the level of understanding of what I want you to get get from it. But I do feel like it can give you uh, such a revelation and such a um, a quaint time and an intimate time with yourself. And that's what's important here, because if you're a person that has a lot of relationships dealing with others, in your day to day course is very, 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 very common that you don't have a lot of time for yourself. And so if you don't have a lot of time for yourself, sometimes don't you think it's good we check in and, and make sure that we're doing okay. It's an inventory of us, you know, of ourselves and, you know, our mental, our emotional, our psychological, our physical, you know, even for me, there's some things I've, I, you know, I, over the last week, I just really had some self reckoning with and I said, okay, enough is enough. And I know what I want to have for for me, for moi. And uh, if I don't set the bar, if I don't set the intention, if I don't work within the cause of it, then how do I anticipate or expect it to even make it make it through? So, guys, this is something uh, this this episode is not going to be overran or run or over over talked about It is real straight to the point. And for those who partake in this, uh, I I think you'll relish something from it that will be so renewing um, that it's almost like you're having a retreat with yourself. (laughs) So uh, I just hope that we can embody the level of what we desire, because a lot of times we'll have goals of things that we're not even embodying. We're not even consciously seeing ourselves able to be or do it. And so you wonder why the goal is not being reached or the, the, the aspects of levels are not being met because we not have not obtained, uh, we have not attained a certain mindset that we can have, be or do. So <clears throat> this is for those changes to take place and for those things to happen. And I believe you can do it. So guys, Fall in love with yourself again. That is my statement for this motivational tip. And I feel that you're able, you're capable, and we're transforming 
to that to the greater self. So I've enjoyed this message already and I'm already so ready to be done because I just think that I've said what I needed to say. And I look forward to us glowing and growing together as we continue on this journey. Y'all be blessed and have a fantastic week. Ciao. This is Cindy Lemke from the Hemet Center, Center Valley Chamber of Commerce, and I'm here to invite you to learn more about the Chamber. We have networks ongoing, so you can join us at a breakfast at JM Restaurant at 9 a.m. every Wednesday. Breakfast is on you, networking is on us. And then we have Women in Business, we have the Multicultural Network, and we have the Valley Nonprofit Network. And then we also have our monthly mixer. Any one of those things, you can be my guest. Give me a call at the office for more information or to tell me you're coming, 951-658-3211. Or you can check us out on the website, hsjvc.com. That's like hemetsangesinovalleychamber.com. I look forward to hearing from you. Have a great day and don't forget to join the chamber and help your business grow. You're listening to the Loudmouth Radio Network.